Crystalline silica, also known as quartz, is a common mineral found in rock, sand, concrete, gravel, dirt, and many stone products. When these materials are crushed, ground, cut, or drilled, silica-containing dust is created. Once inhaled, silica dust becomes permanently lodged in the lungs. Exposure to silica dust can lead to incurable respiratory diseases like silicosis, which can be fatal. Exposure to silica dust can also cause other diseases such as tuberculosis, lung cancer, kidney disease, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. Construction workers can be exposed to silica dust during many common tasks. Sawing, hammering, drilling, and others. Sandblasting or using other abrasives. Performing demolition of concrete and masonry structures. Using blowers, air compressors, or dry sweeping to remove excess debris. Breaking open bags, loading and stirring of mortar mix. Breaking, crushing, or spreading materials such as aggregates or concrete. Emptying vacuums or dust collection systems, including filters. And any other actions that disturb or create dust containing silica. These actions create silica dust and increase workers' risk for exposure. The best way to prevent exposure is to stop silica dust from being released into the air in the first place. OSHA's silica standard requires the use of controls whenever workers are exposed above the action level of 25 micrograms per cubic meter. Most employers choose to follow the straightforward control methods laid out in Table 1 of OSHA's silica standard. Table 1 mainly is the use of water or local exhaust ventilation systems at the point of contact where dust is being created. These systems can significantly reduce dust exposure. When tasks are not covered by Table 1 or when employers choose not to follow it, they must perform sampling or use objective data to measure potential employee exposure levels, use engineering and work practice controls to limit exposures below the PEL, use respirators when exposures remain above the PEL even with controls. Employers must also ensure that silica medical surveillance is made available at no cost to workers for each employee who will be required to use a respirator 30 or more days a year. Dry sweeping or dry brushing dust containing silica is prohibited. Using compressed air to clean dust containing silica is prohibited. Employers should also follow these best practices to help workers reduce exposure. Provide workers with disposable or washable work clothing or encourage them to change before leaving the work site to avoid taking silica dust home. Provide time and access for workers to wash their hands and face before eating or drinking. If there are visible dust clouds in the air, it likely means controls aren't in place and workers are overexposed. OSHA regulations require the use of engineering controls for most silica generating tasks. Bottom line, exposure to dust containing silica can lead to serious chronic health conditions. However, with the use of available equipment and proper procedures, exposures can be greatly reduced. For more information on silica in the workplace, please visit lhsfna.org or contact the fund's OSH division. Thank you and stay safe.